Door-to-door -door sales. You've seen videos of people being mocked, ridiculed, and having the door slammed in their face as they try to pitch in not-so-friendly neighborhoods. If you're an awkward, insecure teenager like I was, this is your worst nightmare. But I'm here to tell you, this same thing that everyone is so scared of can literally make you thousands of dollars per day if done correctly. And yes, this still works if you're in high school with braces. In today's video, I'm going to give you a full guide on how to go door to door as a teenager without any experience. You're probably only scared of rejection because of that one time you got friend zoned and humiliated in freshman year, and you're still carrying that trauma with you. You're scared that your ego and self-perception is going to shatter after the first no. If you're trying to protect yourself like that, you're never going to make it in any business. Every no brings you closer to a yes. You should embrace the no's. You need to welcome rejection. Every time I hear a no, I'm one step closer to making a sale and putting 250 cash in my pocket. And it sucked at first. I was bad at sales. I got told no over and over and over. I didn't know how to loot. I didn't know how to use my body. I didn't know how to use my tone. I was paralyzed when I was knocking doors and I just wasn't getting results. I used to walk away after every no I heard, but now no just means the sales process has begun. What you don't actually realize is that no soliciting signs don't really matter. And here's why. Most of the no soliciting signs you see right now were put up by previous homeowners, maybe four or five homeowners ago. So the people's door you're actually knocking never put the sign up in the first place. Therefore, if you knock their door, you can still sell them. You are not robbing people's homes. You are taking a task off their plate so they can spend more time with their family and their friends. And in return, you make a lot of money doing it. People spend millions of dollars on their home. It would be a shame if they didn't have clean windows to go with it. Do not feel bad about knocking on their door. Once you're done the service, I promise you 10 out of 10 times, they're going to thank you for coming by and ask you when you can come by again. When you show up to people's door with a good attitude, a smile on your face, you're cracking some jokes, you're making people feel good about themselves. And in return, they want to do something good for you. It's the law of reciprocity. If you make them feel important, they'll make you feel important. I knocked my first door six years ago, so my script has evolved and changed many times over the years. But here is the exact three-step framework I give all of my students on their first day so they can at least make their $500 and hit the ground running. Who you are, what you're doing, and why you're here. Who you are. Hey, name's Josh. What you're doing. We're just helping out a couple of the neighbors. We're scrubbing down all the windows and all the frames. And why you're here. What I'll do, I'll go around, count up the glass, and I'll come give you a quick price. And that's exactly how you make the first part of the sale, getting into the backyard. Just getting in the homeowner in a buying state. Now I can't show you exactly how to respond to common objections, like my husband does it, or we have a pressure washer, because if I give you a list of exactly what to say, you won't know why you're saying it, and the words will have no purpose. And it's not a one size fits all. Different situations require different talk tracks. I've sold over one and a half million dollars in window cleaning jobs, and most of it was done with bleach blonde hair and braces. And even though I've always sold at a young age, I've carried myself like a 35 year old. Confidence in being sharp as a tack is exactly how you make sales in the door. It doesn't matter your race, your age, your weight. It just matters if you know exactly what to say and when to say it. Being younger is actually an advantage. All the homeowners I sell love that I'm a young, hardworking student, and it actually makes me more sales in the long run. I'm not some full-grown, tall, threatening man. I'm just a young, hardworking kid trying to pay for college, even though I dropped out of high school. So if you look young like me, there is a soccer mom on your street waiting to give you money. You just have to go find which door she's behind. Hopefully this video covered all of your fears of breaking into door to door. And now you feel ready to go out and start knocking on some doors. And if not, it's completely understandable. I have a ton of videos on my page of me doing exactly what I preach for you to go learn from. My goal isn't to get you to 10k a day tomorrow. I know a lot of you are visual learners, so I think you're really going to like those. It's just to put some cash in your pocket so you're walking around feeling like you're the man. If you want to be personally mentored by me on starting your own window cleaning business using door-to-door -door sales, then click the link in my description and I'll see you inside. Peace!